fat acceptance is on the way out. It has become increasingly difficult to find fat acceptance content to like show on this channel. So I thought we would just, you know, take a break for a while and look at some weight loss success stories that I found on TikTok just to kind of prove to you why this FA stuff is going out of style and how people are now taking their health more seriously in a post-Ozempic, post-health conscious society. I really do hope this trend continues. Not the biggest fan of Ozempic, but I am a big fan of people getting healthy. So yeah, let's check some of these out. Hi, I'm Lisa and welcome back to my Fat React series where I take a look at different aspects of health culture. This includes the fitness community, the fat acceptance community, as well as popular health and beauty trends. So I'm going to be watching some TikToks, but these are TikToks of people who have successfully lost weight. And I just really love watching these videos because they're very motivational. And the, pe the people who are losing weight in these, um, in these videos are doing so through exercise and eating healthy. Um, I'm not sure if any of them have got weight loss surgery, but what I do like is that they're taking control of their own health. And as someone who's lost 70 pounds and someone who needs to lose more weight, I just want to take a look at these and, and kind of see, you know, how these people did it and um, just kind of gain some inspiration from it. So yeah, watch with me. Okay, for this first video, I'm actually muting it because there's like this really loud music over the, the video, but you can see the transformation in it. And I tried to choose a, a mix of videos that had both men and women, just to kind of show you that it's not really a gendered issue. Um, anybody can lose weight. Okay, so what I really like about this video here is just how he really focused on building his overall muscle mass. Um, I've talked about this before, but I really do believe that m much of the reason why we have an overweight society in the US is because of this extreme hormonal imbalance. Whether or not they catch it on a blood test or not, just the way that we're eating causes massive amounts of inflammation. It's, you know, we have a, an estrogen crisis where lots of men have lots of estrogen, but not enough testosterone. And what does building muscle mass do? Well, muscle mass balances your hormones. In fact, for the people who actually take Ozempic, what they tell you to do as you're taking Ozempic is to build your muscle mass. I mean, someone just has to wonder if you just built your muscle mass in the first place, would you even need to take Ozempic? Story from their time. Um, but yeah, I, I think one of the best ways to lose weight is not to do cardio, but to build muscle. Do weightlifting, do strength training, use those weight machines at the gym. Um, if you're at home, you can you know, use hand, like, hand weights, dumbbells. Uh, that's probably the best way to lose weight in my opinion. It's how I've lost weight. And as far as cardio goes, the only cardio I really do is walking. And um, and also occasionally I'll, I'll get on a spin bike, but never running. It's just too hard to, to run with on your joints if you're obese. The best way that you can help your joints is to build the muscle around them so that you're less likely to damage them. It also helps you lose body fat and build your muscle mass because it's not really just about losing weight. It's about losing fat. You can gain weight as long as you're gaining muscle. Okay, let's go on to the second video here. And once again, I'm muting it because there's music over top of it. But yeah, we can see this woman in a transformation that she um, underwent for, starting in December of 2021. Here we go. I really love the visual transformation that we're seeing so far in this video. Um, I like the way that she edited it because it's very, very clear that she's losing a lot of weight. Okay, so you could just see how strong she was by the end of this video. I loved watching that, just how like powerful her arms got because it's really hard as a woman to build upper body strength. And pushing this thing across the floor, I've never seen one of these. I wonder if I have it in my gym. I have no idea. Um, it looks so hard, but it's like 
looks like back-breaking work, but she's probably just gaining so much muscle from it simply because she's um, increasing the amount of mass that she has to put forward. Now, this is something that I've talked about before, but if, when you're super morbidly obese, like I used to be, you have so much fat on your body that if you're moving regularly, you might not be losing fat, but you are gaining a crap ton of muscle. And I remember when I started my weight loss journey and I took a measurement of how much fat I had versus how much muscle, I actually had more muscle in my body than I had fat. Just ask my friend graphically, Alex, like he can vouch for me. We always make this joke that I have like milk maiden power um, just because I had so much muscle in my body, which a lot of I did lose because as you're losing weight, especially as a woman, it's really hard to hold onto that muscle mass. I, I have lost a lot of body fat, but just as a woman, you will have more body fat on your body when you're at a healthy weight than you will as a man. And, um, and it's just really hard to hold on to that muscle, but I mean, I'm pretty muscular. So hoping I can hold on to it like enough of it. So anyways. Let's go on to our next video. It actually is really amazing just how much weight you lose in your face as you're losing weight. Like you can see here, this is a bit picture from my first video. I've showed it many times. Um, I've lost so much weight in my face just from losing 70 pounds. Yeah, I still have a lot more weight to lose. I'm kind of like interested about how much thinner my face will get when I get to that ideal body weight. But um, it's just, it's just kind of like crazy that you can carry so much. And sometimes you don't even notice. Like, like I know this sounds insane, but you have like a different image of yourself when you're overweight than when you actually lose the weight and you look back on yourself. Because when I first filmed this video, I did not think my face was that big. Like clearly you can see it's big, especially in comparison. But I don't know, there's just like something in your head, the, the way that you think of yourself is a little bit warped. And now I look at myself and yeah, my face will be like a little padded, you know, but it's definitely much thinner. And it's, kind of a boon because you know you don't want to make losing weight all about vanity it is primarily about health but it is nice to look in the mirror and see that progress especially as a woman you're not going to see as much progress in your hips and your your bottom um look at the woman who was pushing that rack for like a whole year she didn't really go down that many pan sizes until she got to that second year when she was just uh when she was building all that muscle and she was losing that last battle weight, you kind of lose your thighs and your hips last. And so um, it helps you stay motivated if you can see yourself losing weight in other areas that you care about as a woman. So yeah, it's about health, but the vanity reasons can be a bonus, which don't tell the FA community because they really hate it when you say that. Another thing is I really want to look, take a look at the comment section of that video. I thought it was very interesting. She says, it's important to remind yourself of how far you've come and how far you can go. It's just take it one step at a time. Great advice. But what I liked even more was the comment below it that said, bro, how did you do it? And she's like, calorie deficit and exercise. Because at the end of the day, that is what it is. Yes, it's more complex. Like you need to make sure that you're losing weight in a healthy way, that you're not overdoing it so that you whiplash and regain all the weight. You need to balance your hormones and you need to make sure that everything in your body is working correctly before you can do that. But when you do get everything correct and everything healthy, um, you can't, you do have to do a calorie deficit and you do have to exercise. There's just no way around it. And that's how I lost weight myself. So yeah, I like that she's sticking to, that's the reality. We are calorie realists on this channel. Okay, so now we have our last video and I really like this one because it shows a mother and daughter losing weight together. And I think it is so beneficial and so important to have a weight loss partner. I could not have lost as much weight as I have if I didn't have my really good friend, Graphically Alex. Um, and I just think it helps to have somebody who knows exactly what you're going through. Um, it's not like, okay, so a lot of people will look to somebody who's already lost weight or somebody who has never lost weight but who's very fit to help them lose weight but that person's never been in your position they don't know what you're going through and they can't share with you the things that you're going through currently now um when it comes to successful weight loss i honestly think it's best to lose weight with someone who is on the same page with you i i have had many weight loss partners before who have kind of dropped the ball on me but alex is the first one i think it's been two years now that we've been losing weight together. And I'm just so happy that we're both stick and do it. We're both doing it successfully. Yeah, we're doing it very slowly, but we're doing it also very healthily. So we're not 
losing weight really, really fast or kind of losing the the average amount that you can on the art for me on the low end, just simply because um, I was so sick the last two years. I'm finally just not knock on wood, you know, whatever that I'm not going to be sick next year. But um, yeah, anyways, um, so let's take a look at this mother daughter pair losing weight. I just love how great they look. Um, like I said, it's not supposed to be about vanities, about health, but also like I said, it's just so great to see the proof of your weight loss and the proof of that health. And I'm so proud of these two women for losing weight and and you know reaching that goal. And I do hope that I will get to that goal <laughs> maybe next year, right? Um, yeah, so next year is my year, and it's uh, for people who are into their astrology. I'm a Gemini. Jupiter is going in Gemini May 25th, and I can't wait. <laughs> Birthday's May 26th. Um, yeah, so anyways, I really hope you enjoyed watching those videos. It's great to take a look at the positive side of TikTok every now and then, instead of just focusing on all the terrible things of TikTok. But yeah, anyways, that's all for right now. You have a great day.